Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you the derivation for GPE. Consider a mass M when it's on the floor and when it's at a height H above the floor. The reason why there's such a thing called GPE is because the block is always put downward by its weight. So an external force is required to lift this mass from here to a higher height. So the GPE ought to be equal to the amount of work that must be done by the external force. So that's our strategy. We are going to figure out a sensible formula for GPE by figuring out what is the amount of work that the external force must do to move this mass from here to here. It's crucial that this external force changes only the vertical height of the mass and not its speed. And the easiest way to ensure that is to imagine that this external force is always just matching the gravitational pull of the mass. If the external force is larger than mg, then the mass will have accelerated on the way up. And the work done by the external force will not be just the GP, uh, it will include also some Ke gained by the mass. And we don't want that. That's why we want to imagine that the external force is always equal to mg, so that all the work done by the force goes only into uh, increasing the GP of the mass. And that will, only then, this equation will be valid. So the work done by a constant force uh, can be written as that constant force times the displacement h. And since we have figured out that uh, the external force must be exactly mg, so there we have it. The GP ought to be given the formula mgh. That's all. Ta-ta!